we're going to find the sum of the series from 1 to infinity n divided by 5 to the n. Now if we expand this, this is 1 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 5 squared plus 3 divided by 5 cubed plus 4 divided by 5 to the fourth and so on. Note this is not a geometric series so we can't use any of the formulas we learned about when we study geometric series but we can use geometric series to find the sum of this series and here's how it's done. First we're going to express this series as a sum of a bunch of other series each one of them is geometric. So here's how it works. First series is 1 fifth plus 1 over 5 squared plus 1 over 5 cubed plus 1 over 5 to the fourth and so on. So we can write this as the summation from n equals uh, 0 to infinity 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 to the n. Let's briefly check that this is in fact a series. When n is 0 we have the 1 fifth. When n is 1, 1 fifth times 1 fifth that's 1 over 5 squared. When n is 2 we have 1 fifth times 1 over 5 squared that's 1 over 5 cubed and so on. Now this is a geometric series. It's r is 1 fifth so it's in standard form. It converges to 1 fifth that's a divided by 1 minus r, 1 minus 1 fifth. So this is 1 over 5 divided by 4 over 5, which is 1 over 4. The next series we're going to look at starts right here at 1 over 5 squared plus 1 over 5 cubed plus 1 over 5 to the fourth and so on. And we can write it as the summation from 0 to infinity. 1 over 5 squared times 1 fifth to the n. Again, let's check. When n is 0, we have 1 over 5 squared. When n is 1, 1 over 5 cubed. When n is 2, 1 over 5 to the fourth. So this is also a geometric series in standard form. The a is 1 over 5 squared and then divided by 1 minus r, 1 minus 1 fifth. So this is 1 over 5 squared divided by 4 over 5 so this is the one-fourth times one-fifth. The next series is starts at one over five to the third plus one over five to the fourth and so on. And this is also a geometric series in standard form. This will be summation from zero to infinity. One over five cubed times one-fifth to the n. It's uh, in standard form so it converges to 1 over 5 cubed divided by 1 minus 1 fifth. So this is 1 uh, over 5 cubed divided by 4 over 5. So this is 1 over 4 times 1 fifth squared. And now the next series will start at 1 over 5 to the 4 and so on. So we can write it as the summation from 0 to infinity. 1 over 5 to the fourth power, 1 over 5 to the n, and by the same pattern it converges to 1 over 4 times 1 fifth cubed. And now let's add all the left hand side together. So if we add all of the left hand side together here is what we have. We have 1 fifth and then 1 fifth squared is added twice so this is 2 over 5 squared and 1 over 5 to the third is added three times so this is 3 over 5 cubed plus 4 over 5 to the fourth and so on and that's exactly the series we were looking at which is the summation from 1 to infinity n divided by 5 to the n. But since we added all the stuff on the left, that's equal to all the stuff on the right. And all the stuff on the right is the sum of these geometric series. So that is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth times 1 fifth plus 1 fourth times 1 fifth squared and so on. And of course that's a geometric series that we can write as the summation from n equals 0 to infinity 1 over 4 times 1 fifth to the n. So in other words we just showed 
that this non-geometric series, that is the series, the summation from 1 to infinity, n divided by 5 to the n, will converge to the, to the same value that a geometric series from 0 to infinity, 1 over 4, times 1 fifth to the n will converge to. Well, we know what this will converge to. a is 1 fourth divided by 1 minus 1 fifth. So this is 1 over 4 divided by 4 over 5. And the answer is 5 over 16. So we use the idea of geometric series to find what a non-geometric series converges to. To summarize the series from 1 to infinity, n divided by 5 to the n, which is 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5 squared plus 3 over 5 cubed plus 4 over 5 to the fourth, and so on, converges to 5 16ths.